Welcome to this video, where we'll be taking a look at the 1U Quantizer module by Mosaic. This is a 20 HP one channel quantizer in the 1U IntelliGel format. It can quantize your volt per octave signal to any scale you like, from 12 preset scales to user defined scales, and saved with the press of a few buttons. It also has customizable slew amounts along with octave jumps. It has an arpeggiator mode, a quantizer mode, and a tune mode to easily tune your oscillator. And let's get started with the module rundown. First, we have our CV input here to quantize the signal. And then we have the volt per octave quantized output here. And I'm gonna plug that into plats so we could hear what's going on. So we can see here, I'm quantizing to major scale in C and the notes are just being quantized to the nearest note that the control voltage matches. Now we can see if I just plug my CV directly into plats, it's not as nice. Thus running it through a quantizer. And next I'm gonna jump over to the trigger output, which we can see is sending a trigger anytime the note changes. Note that the incoming signal into the quantizer is half-wave rectified, meaning any negative voltage is going to just be going through as zero volts. We then have the 12 buttons arranged in the chromatic scale here, so we can easily turn on or off certain notes, turn on different notes, and what's really nice with this quantizer is it will flash with the note that is being played. We then have the trigger input, which is kind of like a sample and hold input. So we can see it's not changing our notes because it hasn't received a trigger, so it's just staying on whatever note it was. But the notes within it are still changing, so we're still getting those triggers out the output. So see, when I send it a trigger, it's basically sampling whatever note it's on. which is a nice way to add some variation to your sequence without having to actually change your sequence. I'm gonna take this out again. Now we have all the modes and stuff within this module that can be easily accessed by just holding the shift or asterisk button here, which is just at C. So we hold that and we could change our scale. There's 12 preset scales in here. So we could set it on a certain scale. And then while still holding the shift, we just press the load button and it'll load in our new scale. And you can see all the available built-in scales on the screen now. Now another feature of this is if you have a custom scale that you want to use that doesn't align with any of the built-in scales or you have a more limited scale, you can easily save that into one of the scale slots I'm just gonna save it into slot one here. So you just select the scale slot that you wanna save in, and then while holding the shift button, you just press the save button. And there, you can see that when I load the second scale and go back to the first, we get back our saved scale. Now this overwrites the previous scale, but you could easily just punch them back in by looking at the manual. Now the manual also states that you can recall all the built-in scales here, but there's a little bit of an issue with that and it doesn't quite work right right now. But it's easy enough to just look at the manual and just punch in the existing scale. So I'm just gonna go back to that C major scale here and save that in and we're back. Now aside from choosing scales, we could also add slew where it starts at zero, but we could go up to a little bit more of a fun musical slew, or we could go crazy with it at a full Willy Wonka style slew. And then we also have our octave jump, 
which will just move our pitches up an octave. And we could go up four octaves. And then we also access the other modes with the shift button as well, like the tune mode here, which if I take this trigger out, it just passes through zero volts, no matter what the input is, so we can easily tune our oscillator. We then have quantizer mode, obviously, and arpeggiator mode, which will arpeggiate our signal. I'm gonna unplug this here and just put in the trigger. So anytime it receives a trigger, it's gonna advance the arpeggiator. And now there's a couple arpeggiator modes here by holding the shift and we hit arpeggiator. So you can see we're on the first arpeggiator mode here by the light where the shift key is. And if we hit it again, we go to the second arpeggiator mode, which is a bouncing back and forth. The third arpeggiator mode is going down the scale instead of up. And the fourth arpeggiator mode is random. Now back to the first mode of the arpeggiator where it goes up the scale. Now the one thing I wish this arpeggiator had was a reset button. So if we stop our sequence in the middle and we wanna play it again the next time, it's gonna just pick up where it left off and there's no reset. So you have to kinda do it visually back to the first step. Now the neat thing with the arpeggiator here is we can offset it so it's not just stuck on starting with C and going up, we can actually push it so it will start at a higher first note. Let's get it back to the beginning. Now I'm gonna gradually add more voltage to the offset and we can see how it's changing. So it's a nice way to get your sequence off of that starting at the lowest note on the chromatic scale here. So we could start there if we want. And that in a nutshell is the Mosaic Quantizer. Now another good use for this quantizer is to actually use it as a sample and hold module. If you're using just positive voltage going in, you just use this trigger input here to trigger whenever you want your sample held. And you could just turn it to full chromatic scale and you'll get the most varied CV voltage, though it will be quantized, but I mean, it's every 1 12th of a volt, but it will act very similar to a sample and hold. Now let's play around with this for a little bit.
And that's all for this video on the Mosaic 1U Quantizer. If you'd like to see more modular videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.